And we start with the shockwave sparked by China's market route. And the year could not have gotten off to a worse start, really, especially considering that the first trading session is usually characterized by optimism. Not so on Monday, though, with markets around the world taking a battering. However, Asian markets, including China's, eventually leveled out somewhat today. Kim Minji has this report. China's benchmark index appears to be steadying after the carnage on Monday. There were early concerns that there could be more of the same as the Shanghai Composite Index opened more than 3 percent lower on Tuesday, but it has regained its footing in the morning session floating around the same as Monday's enforced close. The index tumbled a whopping 7 percent on the first day of trading of 2016 before China's new system-wide circuit breaker pulled the plug on trading. The session was initially halted for 15 minutes after stocks fell 5 percent before the full suspension took effect, limiting the damage of plunging stocks. The turmoil in China sent shockwaves across global markets. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed 1.6 percent down from the previous close. At one point during trading, it fell 2.5 percent, the biggest fall on the first day of trading of the year in 84 years. The S&P 500 shed 1.5 percent and the tech-heavy Nasdaq closed more than 2 percent lower. Drivers of the market today have been what's been driving the market since uh, last summer. It's been the Chinese economic deceleration, it's been the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, and it's been the glut of oil and what's that really done to uh, the uh, energy segments of the market. The sell-off was even more pronounced in Europe. In the UK, the FTSE 100 closed down 2.4 percent, while Germany's DAX 30 plunged 4.3 percent. The Chinese market route came on the back of sluggish manufacturing activity in the country that cast a dark cloud over the world's second largest economy. The official Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index fell for the 10th straight month to 48.2 for December, with the reading meaning a contraction in activity. In Korea, the benchmark Kospi recovered from the previous day's fall, edging up about 1 percent as of 11 a.m. on Tuesday. Korea has downplayed the impact of China's stock market crash on the local market, with officials saying they will closely monitor fluctuations in the global market and its impact on the Korean bourse. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.